Okay, so we recently just finished up a series of tutorials on uh, basically phone hacks, uh, being able to do things like uh, dialing on the N900 using a, a, uh, a shell script or a Python script. Also did things like faking your caller ID using a website called callerIDfaker.com, but also writing scripts that interact with that site so you don't have to go to that site. And all you have to do is type in stuff on your number pad on your N900 and it would automatically dial that, or on your desktop, grab a number that you can dial with your cell phone to fake your caller ID without having to go to the caller-id-faker.com website. Um, so with that all wrapped up, and maybe we'll touch on phone stuff again more in the future, um, what I'm looking at now is just doing going on with uh, different tutorials on different subjects. Now that we've kind of uh, taken a vote and it seems like majority of viewers don't care whether I have a schedule or not, and it's a lot easier on me not to have a schedule, right now I'm going to be uploading three videos. Uh, on um, just uh, doing uh, autofill or autocomplete in Vim. So if you use Vim as a text editor, you probably want to check out these three videos because uh, it's a pretty uh, useful feature that I should have known existed, but I didn't think of till the other day, and I Googled it and found out that uh, Vim does have autocomplete features. In fact, I'm going to show you three basic ones, but it has a lot more to offer as far as autocomplete, uh, where you can create your own dictionaries that will autocomplete, or if you're programming in certain languages, you can add dictionaries for um, certain languages. I haven't gone over that yet in these tutorials, but those three tutorials will be right over here, and up here we'll have a playlist for the previous uh, phone hack uh, videos in the playlist. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I hope that you keep on enjoying my videos and that you have a great day.